like, yeah, bro, sauce, I don't sauce. get it, man. But I ain't even gonna get into that. Cause we ain't got that much time today. So we going today. straight in. Got time today. I got my dog in the building. New name too. Oh man. New name. New money. New money. New checks. New checks. Running it up. New records. Running it up. Running it up. Running it up. New, New album on the way. New album on the way. Yo. That canvas fire was killing them. Hey, man. Yeah. Canvas yeah, nigga. Fire. That boy in the future. Come on, boy. That boy. Canvas 4. That canvas 3 was killing them. What, what canvas we on? It was 3. We on 3. But man, we going out of that 5 for the be up, though. 5 going to be crazy. That boy. We, we going to give you the 5 before the, th- before the 4. Hey, How about that? Hey, here is a song like that. <laughs> hey, I got the one. The only. Prince Rizzi in the building. Ooh. Come on, man. I went straight to the intro, man. Let's go and start the show right now, too, man. Check Runners podcast start right now. Yee! Check, check Runners. Check, check Runners. Hey, it's your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramil. Check out my brand new book, Get Rich and Praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Everything you need to learn how to secure that bag like a boss is right here in this book, man. I went from sleeping in the 1984 Buell Sable to living full time off the gifts I was born with. And I want to show you how to do the same thing, man. Get rich and praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Check, 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 check. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What it is. To a brand new episode of the biggest podcast in the world, Check Runners Podcast, baby. We in the building and still keep it basement. I am your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramirez. Yep. And if you can't tell by now, I'm country than a bowl of grits. And I love this shit, man. Hey, that's facts, man. I like grits, too. Hey, man, who don't love a good bowl of grits? Rizzy, how you feeling, gang? Man, life is good, man. Uh, I'm just, I'm thankful, still moving, making this junk shake, you know what I'm saying? We done got to the next situation, so now we about to put out my first official single with a budget behind it, so we about to see what it do, because I, I was going crazy by myself. I was going nuts on my own. Yeah. But now we got some power behind it's it. It's up. Yeah, we got some firepower now. You still over there? You still over there in the building? Mm-hmm. Okay. Man, shout out to King Recordings, King man. King Recordings, you know Melody saying? Island. One of my favorite uncles over there, man. Yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. Man, tell us uh, tell us about this new record, man. I'm still on that Caddy Feet, though. Hey, Caddy Feet is going to live forever. Caddy Feet is never going nowhere, man. People going to be catching on to that forever. It's a timeless record, man, without a doubt. This new album, man, I, I got my favorite producer from Detroit, brought him down here to Atlanta, and that's what the album we was working on when we was there Okay. last time. Okay, so okay. the album is done. Yeah, your man. <laughs> it's over with. Yeah, your man's. Yeah, cool dude. Shout what? out to Dre Butters. We dropping the first single off this album, and it's called That's Us. That's Us. Would you say... You got one with this. I got one for sure. This is gonna be my first Billboard charting single. Mm. And I believe that, brother, because you one of the few guys that I know that do this music thing, that really do this music thing, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you a real artist, bro. You ain't just a rapper. Like you, like man, from stage presence to your writing capabilities, bro. You gets busy, dog. Yeah. yeah. I'm here to stay, man. I'm here to stay. What are some of your main goals you want to accomplish in 2023, man? 2023, uh, hit this Billboard chart. Um, I, I want to have my first chart and single, which I know is going to be this one, and the next one is going to chart too. Um, get these visuals out, man. 
mm-hmm. top of the line visuals, continue getting that and, and having my fan base just be aware of this. Now, man, so I'm Prince Rozzy now. I used to just be Rozzy. Now it's Prince Rozzy. Y'all going to be able to catch me everywhere. You can Google me, Prince Rozzy. I'm the only one that's going to pop up now. No more confusion. Mm. The kid is here. Man, do you feel like it's easier to blow up in the rap game right now versus 20 years ago? Um, yes and no. Yes, for the matter of we have the internet now, so we can really do whatever we want to do. Like mm-hmm. I've been recording and mixing, mastering my own singles forever, right. and been. But before you probably could record your stuff, but you couldn't distribute it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You used to have to go through either CDs or whatever the case was, but it wasn't like you could just blast it and people in China go and listen to your, you know what I'm saying, your music. Your burnt CD wasn't about to be in China. Right. You feel me? Nah. So you got that opportunity now. But um, I, I, I kind of appreciated it more when it was harder to get in the game. I feel like it, it brought the quality. Up. Yo. You know what I'm saying? I, I, lo- I love the game right now, man, due to the fact that you can really wake up and put in your own work with little to no budget and really just create a situation. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. back in the days where guys with labels were spending millions of dollars, a million dollars on a video, now you can get up, bro, you ain't need, as long as you got the camera and the vision, Man, you can create a video that gonna go stupid viral. That's facts. That's facts. And nah. with quality too. With quality. Yeah. Because 4K cameras not even as expensive as they used to be. No, you got a 4K camera on your phone. That that's what I'm saying. You can get out and really like get to the business now, man. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what do you feel like you bring to this musical space? Um, I definitely bring originality. You know, everybody is kind of doing the same thing right now. That's mm. where a lot of the game sounds like they're doing the same thing. I'm definitely bringing my own flavor with being a musician. Right. I, I definitely um, tap into that musicianship and the melodic uh, aspect of music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, still, and still delivering bars. Like, I'm barring people up, too. Right. People ain't really rapping like that no more. Nah, 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 nah. It's like everybody, like, I, don't, I feel like people, we just right now, everybody's scared to be themselves. Mm-hmm. So it's like everybody trying to chase a certain sound. Yeah. Instead of just saying, like, when Kendrick came out, Kendrick was not trying to sound like nobody. Nah, not a chance. He came he came and he delivered. Right. And now, you know, he's sitting up on that mountaintop mm-hmm. with the J. Coles. Yeah. With the Drakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what is the yo uh, when it comes to your artistry? What will stand out the most with you? Uh, like I said, it's the musicianship of it. I can rap. It's the fact that I really can rap on some joints, but I can really get in my bag and do the singing shit too. Mm. And then it's like I can, I do a little bit of both. And you never know what direction I'm gonna come in from. Mm. You never know what genre I'm about to come in from. I could do an Afro beat song. I could do a straight hip hop song. I could do an R and B song. You just never know what direction I'm coming in, but I can execute all of them mm. and really get with the best of all of them. Yeah, bro, you uh, you be getting in your bag too, mm. man. Who you feel like would be a dope collab for you to work with? Um, the dopest collab for me to work with, uh, T Pain. T Pain. We've been talking to T Pain. Been talking to Jazzy Faye. So those are gonna be two um, my favorite ones probably. T Pain is gonna be probably uh. It's not gonna probably be. It's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be a great collab. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like Jazzy, he gonna he'll give you one too. Like mm. one one of them. Oh yeah, definitely, man. That's big, bro. <clears throat> definitely, dog. Hey, I'm proud of you, man. Where you at right now, dog? You doing your thug thing, man? Like for real, for real. Most definitely. So this. What's the is the new EP gonna be Canvas for, or are you going in a di- di- different direction? Mm. Well, I ain't dropped the name with a new joint yet. Okay, it ain't gonna be Canvas Four though. I am working on a hard Canvas Four though. Okay, it's still gonna hard Canvas Four is gonna eventually come out, but this this album that's dropping is not hard Canvas. Oh, okay, mm. I got you. Cause you know sometimes people wanna they wanna you know what I'm saying get that that series set in stone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, I planned on stopping at three. Okay. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, just do the trilogy. Hard Canvas 1, 2, 3, and it'd be done, because 3 was like my best one by far. 
Yeah. I was like, yo, that's that's gonna set the standard. I knew when I recorded her canvas three, that was gonna give me my first deal. I knew it for a fact. That uh that what you want was on her, right? Mm-hmm. Man, that what you want, special dog. Yeah. Who uh, shot that video for you? Um, shoot, Primo Brown. Primo Brown. Yeah. Yeah, my boy, like, man, he gave that record some justice, man. Oh yeah. Most definitely, man. Heart canvas for it. Like that's some of my, my best. I was tapped in on my meditation. I was tapped in on my prayer and had to really tap into the 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 higher power on that. Yeah. And execute it. And um that's what I always plan to do with the Heart Canvas projects. But play this next one I almost gave y'all the name. The next one's gonna be crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's gonna be crazy. Man, what does that uh, that meditation do to your life, man? Cause I, I hear people just say like they get so many benefits from that that meditation, man. What what does it do to your life personally, brother? It definitely gives me peace and clarity. Mm. Um, it gives me vision um, to have a clear thought of something that I really want to do and something I want to execute. I might vision it inside my meditation before it actually happens, and it mm. becomes a little bit easier to achieve just using the law of attraction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just go go get it. You've seen it happen already, so you know it's possible. So right. You go get it. So you feel like the things we visualize ourselves having that that they actually coming to us? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, everything that I have to this day, I manifest it from visualization and praying mm. and writing it down. Writing it down is very important. I have three whiteboards in my in my room. And just different things. I have album goals on one. I have like some yearly goals on the other one. Then I have short term goals. And everything, especially my short term one, as of recently, everything I wrote on my short term goal was manifested in a month, mm. two months. Man, that's dope, bro. Even the long term girl. With my album, I already said who I wanted to work with. I wanted to work with Jazzy Faye. I wanted to work with T Pain. I wanted to work with Michael Starr, who's on King Recordings label. Those are who I wanted on the album. I didn't even meet T Pain. Well, I, I think I had met him, but I was actually at his house after writing that on my whiteboard. Okay. See? That's dope, man. That's mm-hmm. some manifestation at his finest yeah. right there, brother. You know what I'm saying? What I, what rapper would you love to work with and why? I feel like me and Drake would go bar for bar on some giant. For sure. Okay. Me and Drizzy. Um as of right now, that's really that's really all I'm interested. Mm. Yeah. Drizzy. Drizzy or nobody. Yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, boy. That, y'all have made some heat, man. Yeah, man. Y'all have definitely made some heat, brother. I ain't even gonna hold you, man. I can I can I can see that. Yeah, we got similar styles and, and where I'm at right now, sonically, I know that it's gonna that's where the execution gonna be the best at. Mm. My top five though has been the same. Big Sean, fifty cent, T Pain, Drake. Big Sean. You know I ain't one damn boy. Yeah, Big Shine. You know, I'm from Detroit, so that's that's whatever though. That's my dog. Too. What you feel like Big Sean best album was? Oh, Dark Sky, Paradise. Mm, like hands down. Hands down. Yeah. I got I gotta agree with you on that yeah. one. Because man, he was coming with like a he was in his bag, man, and he was coming with like different flows man, dang near he? on every record. Man, that he definitely was, bro. And then not only that, but he um was just really able to go crazy on them joints. Like I feel like that was his best rapping I ever heard him do. I feel like his sophomore album, he felt like he had something to prove after the sophomore album. He had to get to it on that third one and he just he executed it, man. Like, yeah. Crazy. I decided it was hard too. Yeah, uh, I decided I had that was back on there, and there. Yeah, with the Migo record. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that I and decided. I love the concept to it too. That yeah, mm-hmm. that I decided was tough, man. But I still was just so stuck on that dark skies. Yeah, yeah. That I couldn't even really just give. I decided my all at the time. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But see, I decided he was talking about some relevant <laughs> that was applying to my life at that time. That's why I like the the concept of it. It was dope. Mm, okay. Yeah. Now it it'd it be a different little thing when somebody actually creating some art mm-hmm. that speaks to us. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you feel like speaking to you right now? Mm. I like that Drake album, that certified love boy, man. That 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 motivated me to go back and redo Hard Canvas Three. Mm. 
I had a whole nother version of Heart Canvas 3. And then when that CLB came out, I was like, oh, I could go, I could go harder than that. I don't care if I'm recording this in the bedroom and the and in my crib. If if it can't compare next to this album, I ain't gonna put it out. So I went back and that's when I started praying and meditating. That Yo, made me up my game. Which Drake albums would you consider classic to you? Um, CLB to me, I love it. Take care, it's probably you think certified level boy classic, yeah, bro. Man, hell no, nah. <laughs> I, I think it's classic. Why man. you said take care, take care is like hands down certified level boy, yeah. And I, th- I think take care is the only one I feel like people are going to agree is a the solid classic. classic, yeah. I feel like views are classic, I ain't care for views though. You like you like certified lover boy overviews. Yeah, bro. Man, hell no, man. Views, views was a little bit. It was just sad to me. Damn, yeah, it did. Come on, yeah, it, it you can't, know it, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because it had the old, uh, the family record was like the first joint, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it it's came a, that on. Didn't, that didn't resonate. With me, you know what I'm saying? But that CLB came on. I've been hot since the birth of my son. You know what I'm saying? Like he he came in there talking that on the jazzy beat, and then the the production switching up. I feel like he gave us everything on that CLB, bro. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Nah, CLB was dope, but like nah, nah, nah. That one uh, views. I'm a, this is my this is my Drake classic list. Yeah. Take care. Mm-hmm. Views. That third one probably gonna be um What about nothing was the same? N- nothing was the same was dope. It was, it's not a classic in my eyes. Yeah. I feel like uh if you're reading this, it's too late, more of a classic than I can see that. Than that. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh what which which but, uh, he said if you're reading this ain't the album. Yeah, yeah, but they said they said that about the um. It's a couple of them like, albums. But I feel like anything you put on Apple Music is an album. Bro. It's I'm an sorry. album. It's bro. over with. Once you put it on them, on them official streaming sites, though, I don't care what y'all consider it a mixtape, whatever the case is. That is an album, sir. I'm sorry. Nah, definitely, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, which album was the uh running through sit with my woe? I think that was if you're reading this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one right there, like yeah. And if you reading this, that's that's when I had that that uh, that genuine sample, right? That's so anxious. Yup, yup. Oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm, I'm a legend. Yeah. That joke was crazy. Yeah. See, I feel like yeah. them them my three. They were them the three albums I would consider Drake classics. Yeah. I think Take Care is the only one that's like. Nationwide, people gonna agree it's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like take care like a cheat code though. Ah. When it comes to everybody saying it, because everybody gonna say take care of uh, a classic. Yeah. It was crazy though. That was a crazy sophomore album though. People don't do well on a sophomore album. No. Mm-mm. Nah, mm. nah, 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 nah. Except for that boy Kanye. That's one of my top five too. That's my number one favorite rapper, Kanye. Late did, registration is my favorite Kanye album. Did Kanye make better music? Before or after he got to the Kanye he is now? I mean, when did he become the Kanye he is now? Like, what do you mean? What's the time frame? Let me say, is old, let me see, 04 to 2010 Kanye versus 2010 Kanye to now. Cause you, see, I don't know because, I mean, of course, I'll say before 2010. Because those first three albums is undeniably ca- classics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Late re- registration, um, college dropout, graduation, hands down. But Darts Twisted Fantasy came out in 2010, so that made me feel some type of way. I so love it. Saying? And I love the life of Pablo, too. That what I'm saying. That was, like, yeah. what, like 14, yeah. 15, something like that. So he came with some bangers now. Yeah, the life of Pablo is crazy to me. I love that. He did. He gave everything on that album. That was uh, Father Stretch My Hand with yeah, yeah. Life of Pablo. He gave you a little bit. I feel like he gave you all the elements of all the albums that he ever did on that album. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I ain't going to lie. I had went back and listened to that one like mad late. And I yeah. was like, damn. I know like I still never heard the Black Slave album. And talking about Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Jesus. He had the Black Slave song on there. That's my least favorite Kanye album. I never heard Jesus. That's why I went. I'm like you. I'm uh I like 
I feel like them first three Kanye albums, bro. Undeniable. What? We went home, um, uh, home. Let me see what it was. Uh, college dropout, late registration, and then graduation. Graduation. Yeah. Eight hundred eight. Don't first. That came out after. Eight hundred eight, brother. It was cool. But he was like, he was just like doing too much on 808s he for me, man. He changed the game forever, though, with that. He no. changed the sound of hip-hop after he put that album out. Yeah, hey, I'm not taking away nothing that yeah. he did yeah. with the culture at all. Yeah. I just cannot just go back and listen to 808s today. Yeah, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, huh, damn, what's the third album was? Graduation. Graduation. I can listen. I would listen to Graduation last week. Duh, I listen to now. Nah, late when I really when I go when I go into my Kanye bag, I definitely go to straight to late registration. Duh, straight up. Diamonds are forever. It's like one of my favorite Kanye songs of all time. I feel like he was rapping the the best he ever rapped in yeah. life on that sophomore album. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but that um. Yeah, that, touch the sky. Uh, that was on late registration. What? Huh? Back when they thought pink polos would hurt the rock, rock before Cam, Cam got, got the shit to pop, the, the doors was closed. closed. I, I felt like Bad Boy Street Team. team. I couldn't, couldn't work the lot. lots. Oh, yeah. Now let's go. Hey, bro, you probably made late registration come up a little bit more now. I'm, I'm thinking about you, it. But, <laughs> and they had uh, the one with Adam Levine. And I heard him say, nothing that was promised tomorrow today. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Late Lane registration had that work on it. I'm tripping. Yeah. And then it's like, come on, dog. Diamonds, diamonds are forever. I remember I couldn't afford a four escort or even a four track recorder. So mm. it's only right that I let the drop top on the top drop Porsche because for Man. yourself, that's important. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he said, if your stripper name Porsche and she get tits for many men, then your fat friend, her nickname is Minivan. <laughs> Hey, bro, right. you think gonna make me make a brand new Kanye playlist now, bro? Like, come on, dog. I ain't even gonna hold you, dog. Yeah. Yeah, man. We we need some more of that Kanye. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like I don't respect nobody, you know, evolution when it comes to music, but I just need Kanye to just like just center that Kanye for one album for me. He got some of that, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, it was a leak that came out not too long ago. That it, it was definitely like that was a college dropout beat. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure he had it in his bag, but we can't expect that man to be the same man he was true. 20 years ago because we wasn't the same people we were 20 years true, ago. True, true, true. Not for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, let the people know where they can find you at, man. man we uh, got to get ready to get up out this thing. Man, at this point, man, go on Google and type in Prince Razi, R A Z I. Come on, man. That's where I'm at. Y'all better put some respect on my dog name, man. Stop playing with the kid, yeah. man. I'm here. Hey, man. Thank yeah. you for coming by, brother. You got it, man. That's Us is on the way. 2023 is coming out this month, so. That's the single? Y'all, yeah, that's it. That's that, the single. Featuring Dre Butter. Shout out to my boy, Dre. Send me that joint to my phone, man. You got it. I got to get that. I got to bump that. Let's get it. I got to get it. Hey, man, big salute to everybody over there watching us on YouTube, listening over there on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, big salute to my team over here, U42 Studios, man. Uh, who am I missing? Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to us at, without y'all, there will be no us. And I always remember, when you do what you do, do it like you're doing it for TV. And we go, yeah, bitch, yee. Yeah. Hey!